Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back in Gigi Canic. I hope everybody's having a great week. Do not go anywhere because today we are taking you into town to show you which mowers to buy this year for 2024 and which mowers to avoid. And you're gonna be shocked when you find out which huge outdoor power equipment manufacturer is not there this year. We're starting out at Tractor Supply first. Looks like they only've got one Troy built in stock. Um, junk, just stay away from it. <laughs> not, even, not even really gonna go over that one. I, I might if we hit up another store that's got the same thing, but they've got a green works here that looks like it's been sitting here since last year. Let's get into gas powered stuff. They've got a full line of riders and zero turns of the Cub Cadets. Now Cub Cadets are made by MTD and we know how that rolls. When it comes to the Cub Cadets though, they're actually a little bit better than the Troy built uh, mowers that MTD makes. But at the same time, they've all, it doesn't matter which one you get, it's gonna have that $80 spindle on there that is going to cost you a chunk and they break all the time. Now when it comes to the engines, the um, cheapest one they have here is $23.99 and if you look at this engine though it's got that engine made by MTD that Chinese knockoff engine and we have seen a ton of problems with these they have like an, an automatic Intella power throttle control and anytime you get any kind of dust in your air filter it doesn't matter it's gonna start messing up we've seen this a ton of times stay away from this we move up to the next one for $25.99. And yeah, it's got a Kohler on it. The 7000 series it is not a bad engine. It'll be fine for you, 23 horsepower. I think this is a 46 inch cut. So it's got the two blades that are both 23 inches long, which can put a lot of strain on them spindles. Um, usually it's a lot better when you're going up in size from a 42 inch to have three spindles instead of the two, because you will find out you'll be changing a lot of spindles with all that, that uh, weight on it. What you're gonna find though is a lot of these parts interchange. The Troy Built and the Cub Cadets, they are essentially the same exact mower, just Cub Cadet is sometimes a little beefier. Is that the headlights? That's sort of different. So the most expensive uh, Cub Cadet rider that they keep in stock for $33.99.99 is a 54 inch cut. I think it's got the same exact Kohler engine on it. Yeah, the 24 horsepower as the smaller one does, but what makes the what is that, a $500 price difference? One, it's got a bumper. Two, it's got much larger wheels, which means it also has a beefier transmission on this one. Now, all of these are hydrostatic, but I still wouldn't buy this one, and I will tell you why in a minute. Now, getting over to the zero turns, it looks like they've got a bunch in stock, but actually all three of these are exactly the same model, and then they've got one right here. All these are 54 inch cut with a 24 horsepower Kohler engine on it. The only different one is over here, and it's got a Kawasaki. Now, what are you gonna find in this uh, difference of price? I mean, we've got five, six, seven hundred dollars even though they're all 54 inch cuts. And in fact, this one for $700 more has the same exact transmission as the other one does. So what's the deal? Pretty much just the engine. I mean, the frame looks pretty much exactly the same. The deck looks exactly the same. They still have those really junky spindles that go on all the riders. So yeah, definitely would not get a Cub Cadet Zero Turn. Now, the reason I told you not to purchase the Rider for $33.99 is because they got Bad Boys. And Bad Boys is one of my favorite mowers. This is an Arkansas company. Uh, they make extremely well-built machines. And for $35.99, you can get a Zero Turn. Even though it is a 42 inch cut, you're going to zoom around your yard and get it done in half the time. Now, I think that all three of these, let's see, 
Yeah, all three of these have the same transmissions on them. They've got two more uh, bigger models down there we're gonna go over. But the only difference in this one, I think we've got the 42 inch cut. And pretty much the only difference in prices here for that, what is that, $400, $700 is that this one, I think is mostly at a price point because it comes with the Briggs and Stratton single cylinder on it. And these two both come with the Kohler 7000 series. So yeah, that $700, you're getting a lot more deck and you're also getting a better engine. Now here we're gonna boost up in price a lot, but it comes with a lot more. It also has fully serviceable transmissions, which is a big bonus on these things. You're getting 60 inches of deck. You got all that power to zoom around your yard. You're gonna get things done quick. Now this big bad boy here for almost $6,800, this has the same exact transmission as the one that's, that's much cheaper, but you come with some perks on it. You're gonna get a, a, a raised lift while you're driving. You've got much bigger front end tires with uh, more weight on the whole front. You come with a 60 inch deck. Now all of these decks are built with really good steel. You got the roll bar just in case. And coming out in the back side, just show you, this has a 26 horsepower Kohler twin cylinder on it. All of these are carbureted. I saw a lot of fuel injected stuff at the expo this year, but it hasn't come to hit the floor yet. And last but not least, they got a Toro out here, guys. And we're fixing to go over a lot more Toros at the next store that we're going to hit up. But this one, thank goodness, has a Kawasaki on it. Now, Kawasaki has been taking over a lot of the small engine world. Um, they're putting them on everything these days. And that is a good thing because a lot of Toro Zero Turns we're going to see are going to have Toro engines, which means they are some Chinese knockoff engine that uh, I would stay away from. Now, this thing goes for $4,699, and why would I not buy it whenever I can get a bad boy with a 60-inch deck for $46.99, and it is $46.99 with only a 54-inch deck. Not only that, it doesn't have serviceable transmissions, so the transmissions are much better on the bad boy. So my number one pick of rider or zero turn at Tractor Supply is definitely the bad boys. Really the biggest difference is how much do you want to spend? How big of a deck you want? How big of an engine? Now let's go somewhere else. Next up, Atwoods. Now I came over to Atwoods and even though they're right across the street from Tractor Supply, it looks like they've got the same exact mowers in stock. This one has obviously been sitting for a long time, something from last year that they had. That's why they've got, I think these orange stickers on them. Uh, the one on the very back, it looks sort of used. So these are all look like markdown from last year or something like that. These are uh, new mowers here, but just like across the street, we saw this same exact mower for $46.99. Here, the 60 inch, they got it for $47.99. So that's something to always check when it comes to the riders and zero turns. They're pretty much all the same, but they are slightly higher. So definitely keep an eye out for that. The only real difference here I see is these Husqvarna's which I was sort of surprised to see since I have something to tell you about them later. But let me show you something. These mowers all are a little marked down and look like they've been sitting out in the sun for a while. Look at that seat right there all cracked up. Same thing goes for, they've got this 42 inch cut right here and very worn out seat for moving it in and out. And same thing goes with this one. Little bit used looking here, okay? But I want to get let y'all know, when you go to look for a Husqvarna rider, if you want to know if it's last year's stock or two years ago stock, which obviously some of these are, all you gotta do is look at the serial number here. And the first two numbers is the year model. So this is a three year old riding lawnmower that they've had sitting around for a long time which I'm not sure what the list price is on it normally. Seems like it might be a little bit higher than that. So this is probably a sale price to get it gone. This one here that looks like it's been used a little bit. Yeah, that's a 2022. And just to confirm that it is not a new mower, we're gonna get in here and look at the brake. This one's got a Briggs on it. So we're able to see the year model by the code date here. First two numbers is definitely the year model 2022. Oh, look at how gross that is. So yeah, this is all old stock, not a new Husqvarna in the bunch. 
So that is a tip for you if you go to a store like Atwoods or some of these smaller big box stores. If you see mowers out there and you know the model number and you know how to check the manufacturer's date from the year model on the mower and know that they've been holding on to that stock for a year or two, definitely ask for a discount. I don't know about your Walmart, but my Walmart's uh, selection has just gotten very poor the last few years. They literally have three things in stock, which are all yard machines, and they are made by MTD. The same thing as, you know, the Troy Belt stuff. If you can stay away from it, definitely do. I mean, if they've got a zero turn 46 inch, that's 3148. I mean, if you can come off that extra few hundred dollars to get a bad boy, definitely do it. They have one rider in stock, which is the just, you know, the cheapest of the cheap. It's got the bad spindles on it. It's got the deck that's going to cause you issues because it's so flimsy. I think it's probably even got a single cylinder Briggs, yeah, on it that you're eventually going to have to change the camshaft out. I mean, this is just issues waiting to happen. So yeah, I wasn't going to stop by Walmart because I didn't really feel there was a need. And obviously there isn't, is there? No, no, no need at all. Now to the biggest of all big box stores. Now, why was I a little surprised to see those Husqvarna's at Atwoods? That's because I know something. They're not going to be at the big box stores this year. You're not going to find any Husqvarna riders at the big box stores unless they're last year's stock. I'll go more into that in just a minute, but let's go over these riders. Now, the cheapest ones that you're going to be able to get here is the Craftsman brand, which is made by MTD, which also makes the Cub Cadets that we looked at earlier. And the cheapest one, that they have here is going to be a 30 inch cut now this one is a battery powered one i don't know how much this thing is i'd have to look it up but they have one exactly like it with a engine a gas powered engine on it that goes for 1939 it's already been bought that one you definitely need to stay away from i have already made a video on all of its issues it has major steering issues that are going to just cause you problems over and over again every single year uh, these Cup Cadets, these are the cheapest ones you can get. They probably come with a single cylinder Briggs engine on them. Yes, they do, 11 and a half. I think this one right here is the same. So these two are the same T100s. Now I've made videos on these two. They are not very good rider mowers. Um, not something that you're going to want to invest in. Now, when it comes to the Craftsman mowers, you're going to have to compare them against the Cub Cadets. Um, this one is battery powered, so we're not going there. I don't want you to burn your house down. We're going over gas powered stuff today. So when you're looking at prices, you're going to have to compare engines to deck size to the Cub Cadets because a lot of these are the exact same mower as the Cub Cadet, just in a different color. So you're gonna wanna look at what engine size it has, what deck size it has, and the price and go from there. Uh, Ego, we're not gonna go over Ego because like I said, I don't want you to burn your house down. When it comes to the John Deere's, I mean, they are tried and true. I don't, oh my gosh, they changed all the decks are green now instead of yellow. I sort of dig it, I dig it. Um, John Deere's are pretty much the same. They are what you're gonna buy if you're at a certain price point period. Uh, you're gonna wanna try to stay away from the small Briggs engine like this 17 and a half horsepower on here. That's the one that does have the camshaft issues. So we, we don't want to get that unless you have to. I mean, it might last you forever. It might last you a couple of years, you never know. If we go up in price, let's see what kind of engine's on this one right here. Yeah, it's got the 22 twin cylinder on it. This thing would be a much better buy at $28.99. If you can come off that few hundred dollars, it would definitely be better. I think they're still both the same size deck. They look like 42s, but when it comes to engine problems, you will have more engine problems with that one. Looks like these two rows are the same riders. We go up to $32.99 on the John Deere. This looks a little bulkier, has bigger tires. It's got the 24 horsepower twin cylinder on it. But even though it says John Deere on the engine, these are actually Briggs and Stratton engines. So whenever you're buying serviceable parts, I made a video on it, make sure to buy the Briggs and Stratton parts. Do not get the John Deere parts or you will be paying double the price sometimes for stuff. So yeah, that's a 48 inch with that good engine on it for $32.99. That's a good buy. $35.99, let's see what that one brings. A 54 inch has the same engine on it. Pretty much all you're paying for is the different size deck. Even in the zero turn section, there are no Husqvarnas. It's sort of crazy to come here and not see an entire row of them sitting out here, but we'll go over that later. 
let's get down here to the Craftsman Zero Turns, which is pretty much like I said before, just the same as the Cub Cadets. Make sure you're, you know, looking at price, looking at engine, looking at the deck size, and comparing prices to get the best price because there, a lot of these are just a different color. Ego, we're not going over them. The Aaron's, I think Aaron's and Gravely are, are the same company now. Uh, Aaron's are great mowers. Uh, they have really good decks, really good drives. Um, this big boy right here that's like $8,000. It's got serviceable transmissions. It's got the roll bar. It's a 60 inch deck. I mean, if you're gonna drop a dime, this or the bad boy, either one of them are really good zero turns. This one is pretty much the same, just like the uh, bad boy I showed you earlier. What is that? Probably the same price. I'll have to check on the deck size because I don't remember if that one was a 52 or not, but check out that deck. Look how big, deep it is. They are just made extremely well welded decks. All of these Aaron's mowers here come with the Kawasaki engines on them. So, I mean, Kawasaki really is putting their foot in the door. They are really good engines and we're seeing a lot of them. Now, something I was very shocked to see since I had seen so many Toros, which Toro and Xmark are the same company now, all the ones I had been seeing had Toro engines, Chinese engines. And you know what I don't see this year? I don't see any Toro engines at all. They've got Briggs. I think they've got Kawasaki on them, which is really good. Now, when it comes to Toros, not that many people have owned them in town yet, homeowners at least. So I haven't seen that many issues, but it doesn't mean that they're not going to be coming in the next couple of years. And when you get to these big boys, $6,000, $7,000, I mean, they're probably going to hold up. Toro, Toro and Xmark being like the same company now, Xmarks has, have been excellent mowers for many many years so i imagine that these are going to hold up just as well so if you got the money to drop this toro ain't a bad deal now one of the biggest things you're going to see with the john deere zero turns is that there is not one of them that has a welded deck doesn't matter if you buy this six thousand dollar one over here they are all stamped decks which that's not really a good thing if you're trying to use this thing pretty much as a bush hog looking at the prices from the one that's 37.99 up those all have Kawasaki engines on them. $36.99 down, they all have the Briggs and Stratton engine on them. Now the 42 inch zero turn comes with a 20 horsepower twin cylinder Briggs, not a bad engine. The next size up though, it's got the 24 horsepower twin cylinder on it. And the transmissions, they're pretty decent. Now the one that is a 48 inch and 54 inch, there's only a hundred dollar difference in those two. They have the same exact engine, transmission, pretty much everything. It's just a deck size that you're paying that extra hundred bucks for. It boosts all the way up to $53.99. It still has a Kawasaki on it. I think it's a horsepower more than the two below it, but you're getting a bigger, beefier tractor here with a roll bar, more weight on the front end. That's a good one there. Hey. And on top of that, this one and the one for 6,000 both have serviceable transmissions. So the best and worst at Lowe's is definitely the Craftsman is the worst rider. The John Deere is the best rider. The Craftsman Zero Turn is definitely the worst. And the top one coming in is the Aaron's with Toro coming in as a close second. So the big uh, burning question on everybody's mind is where's all the Husqvarna mowers? I mean, I don't remember going to a big box store, especially Lowe's in the springtime and not seeing a gigantic display of Husqvarna riders out front. I mean, we know that they stopped making the walk behind mowers, what, like five, six years ago. Does that mean that we're not gonna be able to get Husqvarna riders anymore? Good news, yes, you can. So I found this out last year in October at the expo and I just didn't wanna really say too much about it because I knew that there was gonna be last year's stock still sold in a lot of big box stores and I don't wanna deter anybody from buying that stock. But from now going forward, if you want a brand new Husqvarna rider, you're gonna to have to go to a dealer. And that's not a bad thing. For years, John Deere was sold in my town strictly through a dealer and everybody had one. And the perks of going through a dealer greatly outweigh the troubles you're gonna have of going through a big box store. Now I sold Echo products for over 12 years and being a dealer, being able to connect with my customer one-on-one, -on -one, explain everything to them about the different models that I supplied, they would always know exactly what they were buying and not have any buyer's remorse. I would do their registration for them. I would give them a little bottle of oil. That way it got them started off right. They knew exactly how to run it. And the majority of the time, they were good to go for years. And then there's those customers that went to Home Depot to buy their Echo products and they 
did not register their product and they did not know how to run it when they got home or how to mix their fuel. And usually either it wasn't registered or they burned it up by running straight gas into it and tried to take it back to Home Depot for warranty repair. And what does Home Depot do? They send them to me because they do not fix things. I am the warranty dealer. And then I would have to explain to the customer that I'm sorry, you didn't register your product. You're gonna have to find me a receipt or you burnt your unit up because you ran it with straight gas. It's not under warranty. And then I'm the bad guy. So if you are looking for a riding mower, keep Husqvarna in mind if you have a dealer locally. Now you can go to Husqvarna.com and you can see all the mowers that they have in stock. Most of them have Kawasaki's on them and I, it looks like everything is like a couple hundred bucks off right now. The cheapest one they have on there I think is a 19 horse Briggs. I would probably stay away from that one. I think it's marked down to like $2,000. I wouldn't buy that one, but their next one up I think has a Kawasaki on it. That's not a bad one. The next one up from that is like a, a Kohler and then the rest of them are all Kawasaki's. So those are good. They've got decent transmissions. They did upgrade the spindles. They've upgraded their decks. They've upgraded their seats. They've got bumpers on a lot of them. I mean, if you're buying the engine, you're buying the transmission, the deck is a stamped deck probably, but the spindles with the four bolt design with the connectors in it is much better these days. So it's just something to keep in mind. So when it comes to the best and worst rider and zero turns that are sold at the big box stores right now, it's really going to come down to a price point. I mean, if you can, and you want a zero turn, and you don't have enough money to go big, you are gonna be happy with the bad boy or the errands. Definitely stay away from the Craftsman. If you're looking for a rider, my top two are definitely the John Deere or the Husqvarna. Stay away from anything Craftsman or Yard Machine. When it comes to engines, definitely try to stay away from that single cylinder Briggs. It might just be $100 more to boost up to a Kohler or a Kawasaki, and it's gonna last you a lot longer. So guys, thanks again for tuning in to Jacanic. Hopefully this video saves you time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found me at Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Jacanic. Find me on Instagram at the Real Jacanic, or find me at Jacanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys, and have a great day.